Hi guys, my name is Jason. I'm one of the physiotherapists at Peak Physio. And today I'm gonna to take you through a 15 to 20 minute Pilates class. Um, let's jump right into it. So with our class today, we're hopefully gonna have uh, lots of different uh, progressions and regressions for each exercise. So we should find a level appropriate for each of you. Uh, we'll start us off with the easiest version and then we'll move through to some more difficult versions. Okay, we're going to start off with a little bit of a warm up, so just resting our arms by our sides, feet together, knees together, and just letting our knees gently rock side to side. If this feels quite comfortable and quite relieving, you can play around with taking those legs a little bit further out and eventually all the way down to the ground. Uh, this is a crowd favorite. Everyone, or most of everyone enjoys this exercise. Really nice way to loosen up the lower back. Okay, once we've done five or 10 of those, we're gonna go into one of my favorite exercises, which is a bridge with a segmental roll down. So we're gonna push through our feet, lift our bum up in the air, and then we're going to roll our spine down one vertebrae, one segment at a time. A really nice way to let your spine loosen up and unwind. So starting with our upper back, mid back, lower back, pelvis. I'm going to do three more of those. Nice and slow, nice and controlled. On one, beautiful. Now that we're nice and warm and a little bit loose, we're going to start with some abdominal work. Uh, when we're doing these exercises, I want us to aim to train, don't strain. So I don't want anyone to feel tensed and rigid through their tummy. Um, nice and relaxed, keep breathing throughout the movement uh, and check your form as you go. A good way to work out whether or not you are maintaining your control through the abdominal area is how your lower back is functioning. So in most of these exercises, we want to be able to maintain our lower back flat against the mat. If you feel your back is arching out and you're not able to control the movement, then potentially step back to one of the easier versions. Okay, first exercise, we're going to do five on each leg and we're gonna move through a few progressions as we go. So we're just gonna start with some knee lifts. Nice and slow, nice and controlled. The only thing that's moving is the leg with the rest of the body, pelvis, core, staying nice and still. If this is feeling quite comfortable for you, to add a little bit of a challenge, we can lift our hands directly up in the air as we work through. Three more each leg. And one. Okay, next progression, same position. We're gonna straighten one leg out at a time. Okay, same idea, nothing moves except for the leg that is straightening. If the leg goes lower, that is a harder exercise. So just straighten it as far and as low as you feel comfortable while maintaining good control through that abdominal area. And again, continuing to breathe and not feeling too much of a strain through our back or our abdominal area. Two more on each leg. We're going to step it up a little bit now with our abdominal work. We're going to come up into our tabletop position. We're just going to start by holding that position for 10 seconds. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, 
So that might be your level. If you feel quite comfortable in that position and you're maintaining good control, to add a little bit of a challenge, let's start up in that tabletop position. We're probably going to mirror what we did before. So we're going to start with a toe tap. One leg at a time, slowly controlling down. While we maintain that core control. If this is feeling quite difficult, perhaps bring your arms down by your sides to make it a little bit easier. If it's feeling quite comfortable, try taking your arms back over your head to increase the challenge. One further challenge here would be to change the toe tap to a leg extension. Again, the further out you take that leg, the more challenging the exercise is. On the layer of challenge would be to take the opposite hand backwards into a dead bug. Sometimes naturally that other arm wants to go with the leg, which can also be a, an appropriate alternative. Three, two, and one. Okay, I don't know about you, but my abs are working a little bit there. So that's a really nice little set to start with. Um, you could consider doing that twice or three times around. Um, if you enjoy those exercises and if you want to get a little bit more of a workout. Okay, we're going to move on to some exercises in sideline now. A little bit of a break for our anterior abdominal muscles. I want us to start with our hand on our hip, one arm out straight, legs out straight. And we're going to start with 10 hip abductions. So the important things to consider when we're doing this exercise is that we don't let the front leg drift forward. You want to keep that in line with your hip. You don't need to go super high with this movement. And you can sort of dig your thumb in around the, the top of the bum there to remind yourself the muscles that you're trying to use. And one, okay? So anywhere from 10 to 15 to 20 reps for this one is good. It's quite challenging, uh, it gets challenging, uh, it probably surprises you with how challenging it is. Exercise number two, we're going to bend that top leg and get it out of the way. We're going to straighten the bottom leg, and this time we're going to use the muscles on the inside of our thigh, our groin, our adductors, to lift that bottom leg up. Same idea, keep the foot in line with the hip, and again we're going to go for 10 to 15 reps. So like we said before, you can do multiple sets of these uh, if you want to extend the workout or focus a little bit more on that um, pelvic uh, strength. Okay, I'm going to take you into our final left side lying exercise now, which will be a side plank. The easiest version of this would be to be between your forearm and your knees, lifting your hips up in the air and holding that position. To make that a little bit more challenging, you can straighten one leg, straighten one arm, sorry, up in the air. A more advanced version of this exercise would be to anchor between your feet and your forearm. Again, holding that arm up in the air. This is going to work your side muscles. Uh, so a really nice exercise to complement the hip abduction work. You've got your side core and your lateral hip working here. So holding this one from anywhere from 15 to 30 to 45 seconds. Um, you want to sort of start to feel challenged. You can see I'm shaking a little bit here. And then aim to hold for 5 to 10 seconds into that. And relax. You can uh, complete multiple sets of these exercises. And obviously you want to even up left side and right side. Okay. Final set of exercises in today's session is going to be a little bit of uh, work on our front. Uh, so we're going to start with some exercises in four-point kneeling. Uh, important setup tips here are that your hands 
sit under your shoulders and your knees are under your hips. And I want you to imagine you're balancing a glass of water on the base of your spine. So the whole time you're doing these movements, bring your focus to that glass of water and think about keeping the, the base of your spine as still as possible. We're going to start with some opposite arm, opposite leg lifts. So when the left arm goes out, the right leg goes out. Hold for a moment. And coming back to the middle. So the important part of this exercise is not necessarily how far out or how long you hold for, but is that ability to keep your core strong while you're transitioning from four points of contact to two. Bit of a sneaky exercise this one because it doesn't feel like it's going to work your core a lot but it definitely does and it even gets your lower back muscles going a little bit more than the abdominal stuff lying on your on your back okay resting there we're now going to come up into a mountain climber where you are on your toes and your hands and you're lifting one knee up towards your chest so important that we don't let our bum sag here or sit too high we want a nice straight line from our shoulders to our toes and we're working up and down through our legs now this is quite an advanced exercise so a regression on this exercise would be a hover where we had our hands and our toes and we're just lifting our knees and holding for five, four, three, two, one. And relax. Coming up again. Five, four, three, two, one. Final couple of exercises uh, to complement the side planks that we did before. We can also do a front plank between our forearms and our knees for an easier version. Again, you want to hold this until it starts to feel a little bit challenging. And then you're going to aim to hold for five to 10 seconds into that challenge. And then relax. More advanced version would be forearms and toes. Again, keeping a nice straight line from your head through your hips to your toes. Finishing our session with some gentle uh, push-up, also known as cobra stretch or extension in line. Really nice way to stretch out those abdominals, which have worked quite hard throughout today's session. There we have some basic options for some anterior abdominals, lateral abdominals, um, a little bit of upper body work, a little bit of movement. As I said, to make that session harder, you could repeat that whole set two to three times. Um, but even just the, the exercise we did, 10 to 15 repetitions of each exercise would be more than enough to get lots of things working. Um, and there's definitely uh, lots of scope to build on, on each exercise in today's session. So, Hopefully you enjoyed that one and I'll see you again soon. Thank you.